Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again for another um, shot at a beer review. Just before I crack on with the beer review, uh, we're going to go through a beer I bought today at the Northern Beer Temple. It is a Demolin and another Dutch one I can't pronounce. Uh, Ulte, maybe? U L U I L T J E. And it is the uh, Light Darkness and Balance 19 19.3%. It is uh, ice distilled Imperial Stout aged in Space Side Whiskey casks with new American oak chips. Uh, so have a little look at this. So I've got a couple, well, say so I've got a couple, I bought two. And there you go. If I can figure it out. Well, that's really cool. Bottle looks like that. But anyway, that was a 10.95 bottle. I, but I'll be reviewing them a little bit, not later on, maybe not today. But at some point, I'm going to take today's review, go from something really good to this, the uh, Open Gate Brewery Pilsner. This was given to me by my, uh, my boy, my son, Ben. Thanks very much, Ben. Um, Open Gate is Guinness's experimental brewery. It's in the same building, the same complex. Um, it says it's hoppy, crisp and clean. It's 4.5%. It says so there. Best before is, freaking it out, is there, white or yellow. Can't even make that out. Anyway, let's pop it up and let's see what we've got. Eh? Oh, there's the lid, by the way. Okay, so beer with last time we've got ourselves a crystal clear gold coloured beer. Nice little bit of carbonation coming up through the from the bottom of the glass into the one finger of bright white head. It's a little bit soapy looking. Tight bubbles. But there you go. Looks like a regular pills. Let's go nose, see what you can smell. A bit of citrus there, a little bit of bread and malt. It smells like a pills, it really does. Just get a taste. Cheers. Thin uh, carbonation is a bit like pins and needles on your tongue, but it's only there for a little bit as you say because the bit of bubbles just pop and burst disappear. Taste wise little bit of little touch of citrus there. That is it says in the bottle, citrusy and hoppy. There is a couple of full of citrus hops. <coughs> there is a little bit of bread in there as well. It's a bit of a sweetness. It's just a it's a to be fair it's a standard same old, same Pilsner. Um, it's not fantastic. It's nothing great. But if I was out and I wanted to session it, I could probably give it a crack and try. It's not bad. It's not fantastic. It's no sort of German or Eastern European um, Pilsner. But it's probably got more going for it than Bex. As I say, if it was in, if I saw it out, and I fancy a bit of a change, something of the light and refreshing to keep me going, this I'll probably go with this. But as I say, it's no, it's no well beater. It is unfortunately what it is. I can only give you my opinion about what I've, what I've got in front of the glass. Or in the glass, sorry. <sighs> bit boring, bit dull. <sighs> I 
See what it does do. It washes away very quickly, it doesn't leave much hanging around on the palette. And it's a little bit, I feel it building up here, the old, uh, the old carbonation. But hey, um, <coughs> so open gate and brewery pilsner. Do I like it? Not really. Would I buy it again? If I was out and there was nothing else on the and all I was stuck with was car and all fosters and saw this in the fridge, yeah, I'd probably go with this, yeah. Would I recommend to friends? Probably not, no. Um, certainly not, certainly, well, the ones who did car and the fosters I would. And yeah, I do have friends who do that. Um, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. There'll be a link to the Open Gate Brewery also below. If you like the video, if you don't like the video, <coughs> if you watch it for the first time, hit the subscribe button, which is either either there or there somewhere. So, yeah, there you go. Done. See you a little bit later on for another one. Hey, Leo.